So last week, the Congress passed a 2,700-page appropriations bill. It's hard to believe that any member of the Congress had time to read all 2,700 pages from the time it was done until the time we voted on it. And there were some really good things in that bill, money to defend the country, money to help the Ukrainians, more money for the National Institute of Health, more money for Pell Grants, more money for Individuals with Disability uh, Education Act. But that's no way to do business. We all know that. So I was trying to think, when was the last time we even came close to doing this in the right way, and when did we get started? So it was my first year in the Senate, 2011. We passed the bill for the year before in April of that year. So passing a bill in March, no excuse not to go forward. Senator Herb Cole and I took our Ag FDA bill to the floor at, in, in late October, uh, spent about two or three weeks on it, and it passed November 1. And with it, we added the, C, the, the Commerce Justice Science Bill and Transportation and Housing and Urban Development, signed into law by the end of November, out of the, House, out of the Senate conference, signed into law, and we passed all the rest of the bills between then and the 23rd of December. People need to see us do our work in the right way. Members need to have a chance to participate and amend those bills and see if their, their ideas are good enough to get a majority of their colleagues to join them. Uh, the country's tired and the member of Congress is tired of one big bill, usually in the following year, that nobody gets a chance to read. Doesn't mean it would have been a mistake not to defend the country would have been a mistake not to increase defense spending. It would have been a mistake not to help the Ukrainians, but there are other ways to do this, and now is not too late to get started for this year.